we have with us now Dr. Lenin Raghuvanshi, a Karmavir Puraskar recipient from 2012. He's going to speak about breaking the silence and eliminating the fear, ability to strengthen hope, honor, and human dignity. Dr. Lenin Raghuvanshi, the original communist. Namaste. <laughs> uh, um, actually, my name is Lenin Raghubansi. I am not a great speaker. I am not a great activist. I am going to give the example in the village. When I went there, there is hunger, uh, hunger death. And we choose the death of Diwali. And we, we came there along with the video camera. Before we said that today, Chief Secretary is Pradesh. Ka, मुख्यमंत्री इस प्रदेश का अच्छे अच्छे मिठाइयाँ खा रहे होंगे अच्छे अच्छे पकवान खा रहे होंगे क्योंकि दिवाली है आज देखते हैं कि मुशहरों के किचन में क्या बनता है वी वेन देयर वी फाउंड दैट दे डिड नॉट स्पीक स्लोली स्लोली वी मेक ए रिलेशनशिप्स टॉक विद देम विद द हेल्प ऑफ द लोकल एक्टिविस्ट एंड दे स्टार्टेड टू स्पीक and we collected the all test money and we discussed with them and we brought we filed to the complaint to national human rights commissions we filed the complaints to the state state human rights commission the state government district admission and we filed the urgent appeal hunger alerts and after that we received the information they received first time in their life red ration cards and we went there jab main wahan pahuncha when we went there malik aa gaye to maine dekha hai कौन मालिक हु इज मालिक मैंने कहा मालिक आ गया मैं आई एम नॉट ए मालिक आई एम ए नॉट ए योर मास्टर यू आर माई मास्टर्स आई एम ए वॉच डॉग आई वॉज पेड फॉर दैट यू आर पेइंग द टैक्स एंड दिस आई एस ऑफिसर दिस पी एस ऑफिसर दे दे वे आर दब्लिक सर्वे कैसे आपकी इतनी हिम्मत हो गई कि आप जो है मतलब आ, आ, आपको आ, इनको लाल कार्ड मिला विदाउट माई इन्वॉल्वमेंट सो वॉट हैपन आफ्टर दैट Uh, we discuss and we inform that sub divisional magistrate is responsible sub divisional magistrate is responsible for the public distribution system and there is a essential com essential community act we received the information after 8 days after the independent of the country <laughs> the sub divisional magistrate called me hey lenin everybody came from the village children old people men women everybody aur wo tez tez chilla rahe hain क्योंकि उनको क्योंकि मैंने क्या बोला था कि आई एम ए लाउड स्पीकर आई एम ओनली लाउड स्पीकर आई एम आई एम आई एम ओनली एम्पलीफाइंग योर वॉयस एंड दैट योर वॉयस योर करेज वर्क एंड ड्यू टू दैट देयर इज अ प्रेशर्स फ्रॉम अप साइड पीपल सपोर्ट्स योर वॉयस एंड यू रिसीव द रेशन कार्ड यू आर द हीरोज तो उनको लगा सहज आदमी गरीब लोग एकदम इंडिजीनियस पीपल दे टोल हमारे मेरे आवाज मेरे में बहुत आवाज है और मेरी जो आवाज है दैट और तेज बोलना चाहिए सो दैट दे क्रिएट्स एंड स्लोली स्लोली आई विल टेल यू दे वी स्टार्टेड वी बिकम बिकॉज व्हाट हैपन व्हेन द दलित पीपल केम पीपल डोमेस्ट पीपल विमेन सफर्ड विद डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस पीपल सफर्ड द ऑर्गेनाइज वायलेंस एंड द टॉर्चर वी only gave the counseling to them there is no active listening only we provided the sympathy but we are not giving the empathy to them so which is very simple idea what i learns from my grandfather the empathy active listening so when they came we listened their story back flash they are going and we are through the our non verbal behavior with the verbal behavior we are giving the empathy to them involving ourselves into that and this is a way to making more human to myself and in that way this people convert me very differently and the second way what we are doing in the second session we 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 wrote the story in i form my mera naam ye hai first time they become the editor in the second session Uh, this is the dynamics and the politics of the dignity kyunki sab log when they are going to the police nahi nahi this is story lawyers nahi human right activists nahi 
First time they become the editor. And they started to um, correct his and her story. And the third session is the honor ceremony. We talk with them and we give the honor on their own stories. And in that way, very simple idea, we collected the unsystematic and unconcentrated idea, converted into systematic and concentrated idea, bringing, bringing their voice to the, uh, um, um, to the uh, district administrations, to National Human Rights Commission. What happened in the last, I will tell you. When I went to the one Mushar village, after four years, they told, Aap mat abaya karo. Hamare bachche padhne lage hai na. Hamne election mein lade the is bar panchayat mein. We came to your office when we need. You employ your full-time activist to another village. We are fighting here. We are hero. And we understand the strength of our own strength. And nowadays, what is happening in our area? Mushahars, in the Mushahar village, upper caste people, OBCs, other Dalits came to them and they told, please support us also. Because they learn through that inculcating way, the non-violence fight, what I learned from the whole fight of my grandfathers and we learn from the common people in our area. And that's create amazing. Nowadays we break more than 200 villages and we organize a campaign in the Varanasi, Varanasi is a culture capital, not only the Hinduism, it's a culture capital of the pluralism, because Buddha gave the first sermon. Kabir is there, Prem Chand is there, Bismillah Khan is there, Samanwabad of Tulsi is there, Sain Nai is there, Radas is there, founder of Jain religion, Pashnath is there. So it is the holy city, of the plural system, other holy city will learn from the Banaras. And we organize the march of the more than 10,000 people. And the challenge to the fanatic forces of Banaras, ki Banaras is not your capital. It is Banaras is the capital of the pluralism of the Indian culture, what we have. So this is our simple fights where we are fighting in our area. Thank you, Leland. A lot of energy and passion over there. You know, uh, while working with an international organization called ActionAid is when I had launched Joy of Giving. And we had first brought the Musahar community to the fore in the film that we put together. And when we used to show that film in companies, in offices, people used to say, do these people still exist? Most people didn't know in urban India that there, there's a community called the Musahar, which is the lowest is in the lowest rung of the Dalit community. The Dalits also have hierarchy, unfortunately. Yeah? And they're absolutely ignored and neglected because, and, and, and their only survival is of eating mice when they can find the mice, or rice in the mouths of the cattle, right? I can see Dr. Suman Agarwal going, is it possible? Yes, in this country, it is possible, it is happening. Yeah, and there's, there, there was another community which we showed in the same film. The film is on YouTube, watch it. It's called Karma Mitra, The Joy of Giving. Uh, another tribe called the Saharia tribe, which survives of eating poisonous grass called the Sama grass. They have to walk for around 20 miles every week to get that grass and then dry it and eat it. But this is the fact, this bonded labor also, which still exists in India. But people in urban India think we're living in India shining the so-called economic superpower. But I'm very enthused that small initiatives started by people like Lenin are really empowering people by, while most initiatives by the big INGOs are making people dependent while they talk about a rights-based approach. I'm sure Shoykot and Vishi, who've been working with me in the past, would agree with me. And I'll open the floor with that. Any ideas? Yes, sir. I also work for the Musa community in eastern Uttar Pradesh, in Maharajgan district. And what you are saying is absolutely true. They ate mice, and uh, they have been so deprived of their entitlements, as well as they are afraid of the administration as well. When the police come, they go and hide in their villages or run away in the forest. We have been working with them since the last five years. What we have done is we have formed 
23 community-based organizations so that when we withdraw from their working area, they are empowered enough to take care of their villages. They are also registered as NGOs. We have conducted capacity building activities as well as we have formed a company, food producing company of the products that the Musars have developed on their lands which we have made them avail from the government. It's called Seva Musar Krishi Products. It has 23 board of directors, out of which 22 are Musars. Very nice. Brilliant, Ashish. And 35% of the profit earned by the company goes back to the villages, which is uh, further used in the development of the village. Thank you, Ashish. Brilliant. It is small, small CBOs, small NGOs like this which are doing the great work. And that was the whole idea of starting iCongo, that how can we bring these small initiatives to the fore? We'll have one last question or reflection and then we'll... The issue of Mushahar, actually they have been the most marginalized and uh, as you know, we are all working together. I have visited those areas also where uh, uh, Lenin is working and we are also working in the same area like Kushinagar, Gorakhpur, all these eastern UP, Bihar, where Mushahar in the last 10 years are dying of hunger. So once I was like uh, doing padyatras because I've been habitual of doing padyatras and I went through an area where Mushar children were eating rats and I posted those photographs and videos and I got an answer from uh, an Indian from abroad, from America and that you know this rat consists of vitamins and I said why don't you eat it if it has vitamins. Mushar don't eat rats because they, uh, the rats have vitamins but because there is a, this helplessness, the conditions there. And it is sad that, you know, the people who uh, should have been supporting these kind of initiative, they, they feel that uh, this, is, this is a kind of uh, a vitamin that. So this is a tragedy that our urban classes are not able to understand the dynamics of caste system. And as we bring caste into the debate in our, our elite circles, uh, they feel a little bit jittery and uncomfortable. So they can speak on secularism, they can speak on Swadeshi, they can speak on Gandhi, they can speak on anything. But if and caste and Ambedkar comes and there is a bit jitter, uncomfortable. So this we have to learn to be tolerant on dissent. Because caste and anti-caste movement are dissenting the Indian elite. And also uh, that's where I say uh, Lenin's work is great and uh, I compliment him for his work. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you Vidyaji. My last word. Uh, because I'm supporting her thoughts, because my father wanted to me as like a Che, because I'm trained doctors, so one hand the guns and one hand the stethoscope in the area, because it's very fruitful for Baos movement. My grandfather wanted to me non-violence politics. I started uh, to did the reconciliation movements, because we have a very good fortune. We are supporting to them. We, I, we went, I went there, confess, listen their story, take the pardons with them, and now, I will tell you, in same my village, my fellows church, <clears throat> in the childhood, they are the biggest mafia in this area. Look, my childhood friend, Brijesh Singh, is the biggest mafia. Uh, so you, you look that the violence, the violence of the caste system brought to the Brijesh Singh. And one day, Brijesh Singh called me and he told, I want to the real reconciliation in the village. And we did. We did. We talked with that and successfully we did after the killing of 44 people in my village. So that is the most important thing and things are changing. Mushars and Dalit people are very amazing people. The, I will tell you in the recent meeting they are talking about the poor Brahmins. They organized the campaign after they become the very successful. They have the lands and all. They organized the campaigns for the rights of the landless Brahmins. Rights of the landless Brahmin is this area. So the, the most important thing, what we are doing, first to recognize, because I am a doctor, so most important to diagnose. Why you are hiding the diagnosis? There is a caste system, there is a patriarchy. I was a caste system from the age of 17. I was a very patriarchal four years before. So that is most important thing. If you diagnose properly, then you are going to treat you are going to create different dynamics. 
and there is a caste system so we recognize conflicts and we are putting positive conflict resolutions and through the neo dalit movement very briefly uh, um, uh, Two lower caste people are already fighting people like us uh, born in the upper caste family of rama and all eh? but <coughs> crown family and after that we are we are also fighting we reconcel because gandhi never confessed because hindu religion problem with the confessions so we confess with the women we confess with the dalit people and we start reconciliation first unity second unity communal already minority is fight broken by the communal fascism but the religion is against that secular people and mm. people believe in communal harmony is against that third is the neo liberal policy we are not against the human capitalism we are not against the democratic capitalism but we are against the neo liberal policies yes and and okay, who are is facing that and three all three unity we are making as a neo dalit movements because dalit movement is very very successful movement of the india you look that in 25 years they changed our life they changed people like me what i learned from ambedkar what i learned from gandhi ji what i learned from the buddha that i people like me are responsible to eliminate through the reconciliations the killing and brigesing and others went to the jails and the prisons and the less uh, recent uh, conflict resolution is going on with the muktar and sari munna badrangi and briges in okay. our area we'll have to stop it is this. going to happen then eastern up is entirely different thank yes, you yes lenin please please stay on stage because we need to give you a certificate we have mr hunar brar give the certificate to dr lenin raguvanshi put your hands together for dr lenin raguvanshi yeah.